and uh, you still have to submit the assignment okay where are you yeah board so let's see how we can convert text to speech and let's see what we can do with image processing uh, it's not uh, related with ai but it is required there also somewhat libraries we have and uh, text to speech speech to text we always do so that is required algorithms similar algorithms we have covered uh, we have to do a little more that is your random forest and all we'll be doing that then we have uh, the uh, boosting algorithms uh, what and others also so we'll be doing that also shortly okay one minute i have some messages which are flashing i have to mute that all right so let's see we need few libraries uh, and since it came up so in the competitions like robotics and all we will be reading that so we need a gtps first let's install that real application is important when you are using python otherwise they're all theoretical things so let's see applying algorithm or machine learning algorithm is very simple so that we have already seen just few lines of code we have for machine learning but important thing is data so we have to see how we manage the data and we need one more module here Oops. Uh, oh, oh, not coming. PyTTSX3 text to speech. We can convert speech to text also. Right? So let's see. Now we need spacey and uh, okay, let's import. Oops, what happened? It went somewhere else. All right. Now, from GTTS, uh, we have to import again GTTS only, like, but that is little different. GTTS import D small T T and S. Okay, this is fine. I think it has come also. But anyway, that's okay. And this is also big, okay. Now from IPython display, we need to import audio. From IPython, these capitals. No, bad code. IPython dot display import audio this is to actually play your audio i tried few other things they don't work but i'm actually giving you something that is working okay now we need language we can have other languages also you can experiment with that english and then we have to load uh, nlp we'll put nlp is equal to spacey dot load in or web sm i'll share the link for this okay so you can apply your nlp here uh, and break it into tokens and then you can play one word by one word okay you had to break uh, break it. Let's see if it is loading or something is missing. It's always better to run uh, the code and check. It's okay. It's working now. Fine. Now I need the text. I already have the text which I copied from uh, a news. 
that was on Omicron. So I have this text with me. I don't have to run it now. Doc is equal to NLP and TXT. Now when I apply NLP on this, uh, I can tokenize and use it. Okay, so let's see how we are going to do that. So sentiments or sentence we are getting out from this one by a word, one by one we'll have the sentence and then we'll create. So let's do it here only for I and the sentence in book. We'll have to convert it into enumerator type enumerate enumerate talk dot sense i'll tell you what enumerate share is if you have used c plus c or c plus plus then you must be knowing this type okay let's print the sentence and see what is coming first and getting the sentence or not I have a habit of checking the code in between so that I don't land up in any issues later. One by one I run. Okay, so we have the sentences here. Oh, but I have to put the code here only. So I'll put the code. Now TTS is equal to G S T T S. Yeah, you have it. And then if I put sentence directly, then it will give me a problem. So I have to convert it into a str string. It's not a string. By default, the type is a list or something. Okay. I'll just. Okay. Okay. And now we can write here. Okay, convert to string and provide it. To convert into speech. Okay. Now, input now TTS, we have dot wave. Okay. Save or save, you can save it. But let's save it first. And the file will have a wave file and uh, we'll make it covid dot wave, or we can have any other name also because it is of covid. So, oh, sorry, I think I have no, oh, it's okay. Now, sound file is equal to covid dot wave. I'm just trying to read it and play it. And now I just have to play that. So for this, I already have the audio here. We have the audio here. So let's have the audio. Sound file. Then auto play is equal to true. Otherwise it will ask you, do you want to play it or not? Right, so there you are. The play is not playing, so I'll have to check some other way. It has saved actually, the file has been saved, but uh, it is not playing. So let me see what I can do with this. It actually displays here. It must have gone here. Yeah. I'll have to save it and then I can play it. But if I want to play it directly, then let me it plays with this. I'll have to read the file again then. I can download and play, that's not an issue. But uh, let me see if I can play it directly. 
I should be able to play directly also. I can play the text directly. That is not an issue. So I can play this also directly. Okay. This gives you, okay, I can do one thing. I can convert, I can install one library and then I can play it. Yeah. I'll have to clone this uh, think DSP and play around with this a little. I can play now. Actually, the text is already done. The audio file is already there. You can play it, download and play. But I want to play it here. And let's see if we can do it. But let's see the plot we get from this first. So I have to clone Think DSP. So if you want to install something from GitHub, so this is how you can do that. Uh, clone colon put here exclamation mark git clone and then the path speed or git so it will just clone what is there there are certain modules which we can install so there are certain projects which we can install from github so this is how you can simply clone it and it stalls this is this dsp is digital signal processing and we have to process the signal and see how the signal is behaving. We can actually let's import so we can actually uh, see the sine wave also. This is sorry. And it's okay. Mm -hmm. We have to import I think it has cloned actually. So I'll just import. I just put it has cloned here. Yeah. It has cloned. See, think DSP. The folder is created and the rest of the files are installed. There's a book, there is a code, and there's uh, some YML files and others. You can see that now. Import think DSP. It is not taking that. It should think DSP is a smaller one. P is capital. Let me run it and it will tell me whether it is being installed or not. That's fine, perfectly fine. It happens sometimes. Okay. Just copy paste. What we have is sign, sign wave. For this thing, DSP dot sign a signal frequency is 400, amplitude is 0 0.5, waves in dot make wave, duration 2, start 0, frame rate is 4100. That is the default megahertz 3600, also we use uh, 36,000 or 44,100. We use these are the, the basic uh, frequencies at which we work, frame rate actually, with at which we work. Then period it uh, you get the sign period then segment the wave wave dot segment start zero duration is whatever the period we get into three segment dot plot pi plot dot show wave dot play this is where we have to play okay i python dot display audio covid dot wave file so we can play now let's see this is how we play the sound so we have installed thick dsp and now you can see the sine wave, which is perfectly plotted. This is from the audio signal we got, and this, this is what we have writing sound or wave. And now, if I play, I don't know. Said to replace Delta globally as a result of its immunity evading potential. In its latest technical brief, the global health body said that Omicron is soon set to replace Delta globally as a result of its immunity evading potential.
okay so i think it is the last sentence it's not the entire thing but anyway so you can convert it like this you can install think dsp and then you can convert it using you can simply do it this one only you don't have to plot it and see i normally try to do that and see whether the plot is proper or not if there are some vibrations we can have other things also with this file you can have other plots also a lot more you can do with the signals signal plots and all but we are not into signal processing but we can do that we can do signal processing we can do image processing also and i'll share few research projects with you which are already there you can uh, take advantage of this uh, i have taken examples from there only let me share the links you can explore otherwise you'll have to search them. i think i've already done that okay <clears throat> so i have shared the links with you so you can play around okay now if you want to do something like image processing in the matlab it's very easy you can easily do that but if you want to do it uh, with the uh, python then you need opencv so first you have to install opencv and then we have some classifiers which we have to install so we'll be doing this i'll just show you why i'm doing it because uh, you should be able to see the capabilities and should be able to actually work on it python and see if there's some like if you're talking about robotics robotics should be able to sense the objects or see the objects if the object uh, can be seen or detected normally they use sensors to detect the objects but they cannot identify the object with the sensor for that you need image processing right you want the image should come and it should be able to recognize that and then comes your ml part once the data is there once you get the data then you can do whatever you want but data is important so getting the data is important okay okay now let's uh, i'll just show you an example you can just uh, check and see what you can do with it so first of all of all i'll have to install open cv let me see if it is there or not but i'll have things i will have to install it so pick install open cv python i hope this is okay yeah this is okay but there is one more i have to mute somewhere okay mute not so we can't see your screen one minute huh? you can't see my screen i shared it did i didn't i let me see okay. i did share it but uh, oh oh so you are telling me now <laughs> okay okay that was only audio oh, oh. I'll, I'll show it again no issues One minute. Okay. Now it is visible. Yeah. So oh, yeah, audio, audio and image processing. First, you have to install GTTS. Then the Pi TTS X3. You are doing that. Then import Spacey. Then import GTTS. Then Python display audio. Then we have to get the language en that is for english nlp spacey dot load en core web sm then we have the text and then uh, we can apply nlp on that and then using a loop we are just converting every text every sentence into audio and this is how we are doing that and saving it here okay so some file is your COVID.wave. It doesn't play sometimes like this. So what we have to do is we have to install think DSP. 
you have to clone it using git clone so whenever whenever you want to clone something you have to use git to clone it and if it is not installed it will tell you that you don't have uh, git installed but you are using colab so it is already there but suppose you are not using colab you are using uh, jupyter or using uh, any other id so in that case uh, you have to install the, the git uh, extension or a module and then you can actually uh, run this code so simply git clone and the module the project you want to install it's installed and then uh, you have to import sys then you have to get the path and uh, just have to play so we are using sine wave I think dsp the sine wave and then we have the duration and all that is frequency i told you 400 amplitude 0 0.5 duration in this case is two starting is again zero frame rate is 44 100 that is normally the default otherwise we use 36,000. also some in some cases we increase it also to 52,000 and more it depends Okay, that is frame rate we have and you can change it and play around with the frame rate and see what happens now you can have the to plot we have the sign period then segment the sign wave then plot and show and to play we have very simple command wave dot play ipython dot display audio copy covid dot wave and it runs right and you can see this and you can play here just click and play and i have shared the links you can go through and see what projects are there and uh, what all things are there now as i was talking about image processing first we i need open cv so if it open cv we need we have some inbuilt classifiers the classifiers are there so i'll have to install them rather not inbuilt so we have uh, classifiers i'll have to install some of the classifiers or you just have to call that okay so let's first of all uh, put an image here we'll try to detect something oh image is not here let me see where i kept let me copy the path okay i need actually two files i'll just install it i need a classifier also and an image also so i need a stop data dot xml and sound dot wave file so we have installed that and i'll show you i'll share some link and you can experiment with that and show me if it works or not okay now i have to import cv2 open cv i have imported now uh, what i need is the matplot to plot it and the read is very simple then I have to convert it also. So let's do it first this way. Matplot and cv2.read. This is how you read an image file in Python. <coughs> OpenCV is available on Java also. It is on uh, your uh, Python also. So you can use OpenCV and to, for image processing so you don't have direct uh, thing which you can do directly with Python. We have uh, some other modules also, <clears throat> but uh, we need a classifier to detect what the thing is. So first I'll have to convert the image to uh, RGB or gray. So I'll just show you two commands which we can use to convert the image to RGB and gray. Oh, sorry. So CV2 cvt color the command is same but here it changes cv2 dot color pgp pgr to r to gray and this is to rgb black image to rgb rgb image to black image and so on you can have other ways this is a gray image this is an rgb image if it is not an rgb image then you can always correct it by using this second command okay now we have to display or plot the image Let's do it. It's very simple now. Using the pyplot command only. So 
plt dot image i am sure we have to use i am sure to display let's see it see simple very simple we are displaying an image you can use it but we have to detect the sign this is stop sign okay so let's do that now and it i'll just use uh, in the same i already have the code not my code my codes are mostly in my uh, python uh, and uh, <coughs> java and matlab okay so cv2 yeah, this is a ca casket classifier we have many type of classifier this is a casket classifier this is xml file we have to install and we have for face recognition also car plate uh, car also for uh, uh, car plate also we have different classifiers which are already there so you have to call them so we have called the classifier now we have to see if uh, we can find it we have to multi scale and uh, okay okay so stop data that is the data we had uh, collected from uh, the xml step dot dot detect multi scale image gray img gray img gray is here this one i have used and minimum size is uh, 30 by 30 that is the size of the square we are going to draw on it the image is that you want to find an, uh, an image which is actually 30 by 30 maximum size 30 by 30 and it is actually looking for connected pixels similar pixels in that particular area in 30 by 30 similar pixels it is going to or connected pixels it is going to detect okay You have to find the length. I'll just click okay. here. Okay. So first of all, you have to find now find length of the found. If uh, image is found, then you can go ahead. Length will be more than one, zero. Okay, so it has detected one or not. Amount found, you will just print it. Okay, so if amount found not equal to zero, that means it is there. Then we just have to get x, y with an eighth height in found. We, what we get is x, y with an height, okay, in found. And then we draw a rectangle using this command cv2 dot rectangle image RGB. That is the image because it is now an uh, RGB image. Our image is a colored image. It's not a gray image. Only uh, we use gray image to detect the boundaries, corrected pixels. The image RGB x, y x plus height, y plus width, 0, 2, 55, 0, that is the color actually I want to give, and then 5, that is the rectangle color. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 is the color. Then we have to show the image, and I don't need this, but subplot I'm not using. So I'll just print it. I'll just run it. Okay, you can see this one. That is one image detected. You can see the square draw. <clears throat> you can play around with the this thing. See. I don't think it is there. Filter. Okay. Zero two uh, two fifty five zero is the color actually. It's color code. 
this is the width. This is the width. So if you want a thicker, you can have a bigger one. See. Okay. This you can vary and see. This is the color 0 to 55, 0. You can experiment with that and see what happens. X plus height, Y plus width, XY. Image XY, one side, and then this one. So you can draw in a rectangle around the image, which is already detected. So XY we have got, height width we have got. We have to put it in the loop so that it can draw the rectangle properly on the image. And you can see this, right? <clears throat> so you can detect images, you can detect faces, you can detect anything. I'll share the link of this code with you. It's much easier to do image processing in the MATLAB, but you can do it in Python also. This is vehicle detection code I'm sharing with you. We have others also. This is hard uh, casket classifier. Use this. This is light license plate, plate recognition. And let me see if I can share this with you. Let me just show, share with you. It is not shared. Let me share this with you guys and show you the link I have shared. Where? Oh, yeah. Blocked it most today. This could be helpful actually in your project or something. You can see this. I uh, hope oh, yeah, you can see this. This is an image, and uh, you can see this repository from where you can get uh, the uh, code also, and uh, the images and the classifier also. So if you open this, and you will get the thing. But code you have, you can have this code from here also. You're resizing the image to 6620 by 480. And then converting into gray, you can see this. You can flatten the image, it has to be flattened. But then uh, you have to apply some morphological feature uh, detections features like this. You have to convert into edge. This is detect the edges. Once you are able to detect the edge, then you can clean the background and you can just simply remove everything. And you can see that it can be detected like this. So on our video also you can do, and then you can simply segment the image, or you can even segment the characters. You can see that it has been cropped, and you can even do the character recognition on the to just come out. It's very simple. Since the classifier is already there, so it's very easy. There was a time when we had to write everything. But today, people have done the work for you. But you have to experiment with it and see if it works. And if it works properly with the Indian number plates or not. Because this is white background. So where with the white background is working, it, whether it is working with the yellow background or not, you have to experiment and see. Or if it is working with the embassy background or not, you have to see that. Okay, so that modifications you may be requiring. 
So this is the uh, number of plate recognition, then face recognition also we have, and uh, we have other things also. All right, a lot more you can do. It's, uh, image processing, signal processing, they're all beautiful things. And when we talk about uh, developing a machine, a machine, a smart machine should be able to see and should be able to actually detect even in the, even the sounds, if you want to detect, you can detect the sounds also. And you can uh, actually find the emotions. And based on the emotions, you can fine tune your machine to work. So you require these things. Actually, machine learning is not only dealing with uh, the algorithms. That is very simple. You can see that just takes what two lines, three lines of code to uh, implement a machine learning algorithm. But what is important is the data. If you don't have the data with you, what will you do? You cannot do anything. You have to actually normalize the data. You have to collect the data, whether it is image, whether it is audio, whether it is text, whatever type of data, whether it is a video from that, or whether it is a social media. I'll show you how we can get the data from uh, the social media. Also, web scrapping, we have something which is important. So data collection is very, very important, not the algorithms. Right. It is nothing to do because it is all you can see that it is all in inbuilt. What you are left with is just manipulating the data. If you have the proper data set, like if you have the car and if you have only the front end, uh, front of the car or the back of the car, it's very easy to detect. Because that is the place which is the most uh, connected part. Number plate. Right. So you can easily detect that. And but. Uh, First thing is you have to detect a car in a in an environment. Let's say if the car is parked in a parking lot. So first you have to detect the car and then you can detect the number plate. So car detection is also there. So you detect the car, segment the car and then detect the number plate. You can do that. So the car detection algorithms are also available. You have the classifier for car recognition, then you have the classifier for face recognition you have the classifiers this is a hard classifier and in one of the projects where we had to find out how the uh, person is uh, behaving based on the uh, walking uh, uh, of the person just to detect how the person is working uh, walking fast or slow or running or is about to attack someone right so if we have to do all this we need some classifiers to detect the parts body parts like the legs the hands the face the body the entire body the trunk so you have to detect one by one and see if uh, and then segment that dilation image dilation is there that is what happened when you convert it into the edge detection part so edge detection works with the dilation dilated the image is dilated that is it is basically converted grayscale and everything which is not required has to be removed only the important part is left so image dilation so you have uh, the uh, codes for that algorithms for that so what I was telling you was that in detecting the action of a person from a video or an image, I have to detect the person first from the environment. There may be like in the live scene, it, it can be anything, right? So the future machines, if you want to design something, then it should be very, very smart. It is just not that key. you just get the data, apply, some machine learning algorithms classify that or uh, you apply a regression on it and just predict okay, okay fine this is what is going to happen may or may not it's a probability but it should be more smart it should be able to think on its own and that is where your cognitive intelligence comes into play right but as i said important thing is to get the relevant data Irrelevant data yeah, is of no use. If it is not normalized, it is of no use. So we have to work on the data. Data is important. Is the thing you can say for every implementation, whether it is machine learning, deep learning, transformers, 
cognitive intelligence or any type of implementation even in the financial environment what you want to do it is all on data you have so data is important guys so you have to work on data and uh, we have covered almost all the algorithms i will show you how things are uh, mathematically these are all uh, you can say that algo mathematical algorithms statistical algorithms what statistics works behind them what the lo logical re regression is all about but uh, that comes into play only if you want to manipulate something in the algorithm to help yourself yourself do something else which the algorithm is not designed for so if you want to just manipulate that then definitely it is useful if you don't want to manipulate anything then the uh, algorithms will be there but the statistical formulations behind that may would not make any difference to you but uh, it is uh, actually uh, even if i tell you i'll ha i'll be telling you but even if i tell you what the statistical uh, algorithm is behind the, the algorithm uh, the modules or the classifiers or machine learning algorithms you can say if it is uh, not used properly if you don't have the proper data then uh, won't make much difference it is all code actually so the algorithms are statistical but the implementation is math is uh, in python code or matlab code or java code they're all open open uh, projects so you can open and see and work around uh, and the code and manipulate the code like we, what we did for prosthetic legs so we had to manipulate uh, the algorithm because in neural network we were using and we had to manipulate that a little bit so that it could work with us with uh, for us so we need coding definitely we have to understand the coding so you can open this particular file the file you have for uh, the module you have for any uh, machine learning algorithm open it and see what is behind it what is inside it so most of the uh, the codes are available on github or it is there on your system also if you're installing it you can open the file and see what is there you may not be able to understand it fully but some part will be there which you can understand because it is all labeled they are all labeled so you the explanation is there with the code now when i opened this hard classifier which i was telling you which we did for uh, detecting the action of a person we used a hard classifier to detect the person then we had for the car we used for the car also when i opened this classifier it had around uh, 50 uh, 54 no it was not even 54 it was like 500 pages of code so i downloaded a bit then i printed i stopped at 50 54 pages because it was just going on so i had to stop and uh, just download it just uh, open 54 pages and try to read what it is so it's not that easy but then this classifier is not meant for to detect only one thing it is for a lot of things and how you design a classifier actually if you are interested in astrology or new numerology and uh, if you have read any of the books on numerology you must have seen that it is all on the previous data how the person behaved it is all data like uh, what was the nature of the person how the person died how the person rose the lines drawn on your hand they just correlate with that over the years the data develops because there's no science in it okay over the years the data develops and then you can predict okay fine this is the line which is on your hand and this is the type of person the person could be but that is uh, actually nothing to do with the real life okay but it may be correlated if, if things have happened happened with you then if it has happened with 2000 people with the same uh, lines or same uh, uh, 
patterns in your hand, then it can happen with you also, right? So this is what uh, prediction is all about. And same way, your classifier is also designed over the years. We know that, okay, fine, the faces look like this. Now to detect the face, the important thing actually we use to detect the eyes first. That is how the classifier started. They found the eyes uh, first and then detected the face. Uh, it was actually uh, the eyes were taken and uh, because of the colors they could detect the eyes. That is why it was converted into grayscale. So image uh, in a grayscale gives you more uh, features and more knowledge about the image. So they detected the image first using the eyes. So eyes were the center. And from there, uh, it was measured that uh, how far your forehead would be, your chin would be, and your cheeks would be, and that would be the ideal area for the square for the image. So this is how they designed. But over the years, they found that it was not uh, actually detecting the face properly. It was detecting something else also. <laughs> So then they found that nose is something which is coming out. That is the only thing which comes out of your face. So they uh, use the nose as the center now. And that is what they're using nose as the center to detect the boundaries of the face. That's easier now and more accurate now. So you have not actually uh, seen the growth of image processing. So you won't be able to understand but I have seen it myself that uh, it was uh, the face recognition thing was detecting something else. Even in the cameras, uh, whatever was close to the color of the eyes, it could detect that and take it as a face. But today, even the cameras won't do it, right? Because now the classifier working there is actually looking for the nose. And that is what is there. You can open the XML file and see also what is there in it and uh, you can uh, work on that and you will be able to find a lot more things there and uh, see how xml would be so uh, you mean uh, it's uh, it's easy you can understand a little bit of it but you no need to understand the entire thing but just uh, it is the edges the detections the algorithm the mathematical calculations See if this is the nose, if it, this is the size of the nose, what would be the size of the face? And then it finds the boundaries and then it finds the colors also because you know that uh, if you go further, then you have the ear which is coming out again. But uh, that cannot be taken as the center of your face. So center of the face is nose, which is taken as the center now. And then you know that, okay, fine, this is the ear which is coming. So you know that you have to end your rectangle there. So somewhere there you can end your rectangle and you can detect the faces. Easy. It's very easy, but uh, it took a lot of years to design that because it is all mathematical calculations. You need mathematical calculations to do all this. So you have license plate recognition. You can play around with this and see if it works. And let me stop this sharing uh, to share my file. Let me save it to GitHub first and then I'll share it with you. A lot of things are piling up and I, only three of you have given me the uh, assignment. Okay, I'll just wait for that. Oh, no. no issues, you can take your time. Okay, I have to log in to my account and then I have to open it. I don't like this part. I have to verify. Okay, there is some undertaking by. Okay. Let's see if I can do it this way. Where it is? Oh, yeah. Okay, I think I can save. I've not shared it, okay? So you won't be able to see what I'm doing. I'm just uh, put it now and share with you also. Mm -hmm. 
this is not part of your course just i have to tell you that this is required actually in the, we are moving towards 20 uh, 22 and then the, not 22 we are already into 22 we are moving ahead now then if you are not with the technology then you're obsolete these days this is something required in machines image audio everything is required courses are designed according to the requirement of the syllabus and all but i have to do something more than that bad habits i have but I, I don't know. I, I want students to understand things practically. Okay, so I have shared it with you, but I have to upload the data also. So let me upload the data. Mm, okay. Oh, I have to upload one minute. Use the thing and find there. Yeah. I've uploaded the image and the stock data. Although I think I've, I'm, I'm not sure I've shared the link with you for uh, this particular stop sign uh, thing, but it is there available online. So nothing uh, great about it. But I have some. Uh, of my uh, codes which are on MATLAB and Python also where we have used this is a standard code so I'm used with the classifier otherwise I can do more things with it also like number plate detection there was no classifier uh, when I did it uh, last try it at uh, 2014-15 there was no classifier I could find any classifier with that and detecting the thing was a real pain in Python although I could do in MATLAB in just two minutes, easy. But for image processing and signal processing, the preferred thing is MATLAB. It can do much more than this, but, uh, and actually the limitation with this uh, CV2, it is a C language actually, and the lim only limitation is because of the classifier, HAR classifier, you have cascade classifier called HAR classifier. So with that, you have to use it. Otherwise, you don't have any flexibility with it. Not much flexibility, which we have with the MATLAB. MATLAB is much more advanced. And we have all the AIs with it, neural network, fuzzy logic. We have a lot more. But anyway, that's OK. What we have, we have to do. So what we can do best, we have to do that. And that is what we can do is converting the audios, audios the videos or the you can even uh, play the audios and then you can do the image processing also small example i have shared and then i've shared the link also so you have to do that anyway you can uh, take your time to oh i have not shared the link one minute i have to share the link right 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 i have not shared one minute i have to share the link of github Just to close that. Where is it? History, history, history. Yeah. Okay, I'll just share this with you. The root I'm sharing again. You already have this AIML GitHub repository, but uh, I'll share it again. I'll share it here also and in my group on our group we have on WhatsApp so we can share it there also it stays and you can drop in your queries just go through it and see how things work and here is the group here you are so I've shared it's already there okay so it is 11 uh aiml 11 i think so i hope i have not overwritten it uh, uh oh no no 
it is 11 fine no issues fine so just go through it take your time and you have to deposit your uh, projects also assignment sorry assignment uh, only three i can see i've seen two already third i have to see those are good good efforts but don't try to copy paste otherwise you won't learn much it's better that you just type the thing you can see and type i'm not saying that you do it yourself but don't copy paste just type the thing okay typing would give you some knowledge about the code okay so we can take a small break for some time and so that you can go through the things i've shared the link okay so do go through it and we will meet in 20 minutes 20 25 minutes whatever time or if you want to take more time you can take that no issues because you have to submit your assignment also today it is authenticated it's just keep in mind okay so you're getting some marks from that internal uh, your assessment is done on that only and your uh, coordinators have told me that if uh, someone doesn't submit the assignment just mark the person as absent so i won't do that i don't want to do that okay so don't do that share it